It's just a ways. I don't know. Hang on. killer wave has hit America. A section of the main coast has been devastated from Kitimak up to Bar Harbor. Trees lie broken, houses smashed, roads flooded, and lowland areas lie swamped underwater. The sea, which only a short time ago was a devastating force of destruction, now lies eerily calm. Docks have been reduced to piles of splintered wood while their defeated boats sit broken on the rising hills behind. These are communities that have been shattered. The Red Cross is setting up camps all along the main shore. Near Kinemac, the hardest hit area, Cantrell CEO Victor Bannister will hold a press conference today to announce his company's strategy for cleanup and rebuilding. Stay on the job. Great. Hey. I'm gonna walk around a bit. Check things out. See you later, Frank. Yeah. yeah. Looks like you guys went through hell. Yeah, I don't want to go through that again. No kidding. I mean, look at this. It's gonna take years to clean this up. That's the one thing you gotta say about Cam Trell. Something like this happens, we always come through. Doesn't matter what it costs, just get the job done. I mean, they say Bannister takes it out of his own pocket if you ask it. Really? That's what they say. Those boys in Washington, they got other plans. He's not on the up and up or something. He's just a good guy. He won't play their game, that's what it is. But to them, they investigate. Investigate what? He's just a good guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you're doing a good job. Keep it up. You do, bro. Take care. Oh, oh, Georgie, hold up, I'm coming with that.
As the entire population of the East Coast is beginning to live in fear of another massive wave destroying their communities, residents of Maine are trying to come to grips today with the devastating news that some of their loved ones may be among the victims of this unpredictable force of nature. But the very fact that this is the third tsunami to hit the Atlantic coast in such a short period of time has left officials and members of the scientific community baffled as to the cause. However, unconfirmed reports suggest that terrorist angles are being investigated. We get any closer to land this time. The risk is greater. But we gained so much control, it's the answer. Uh, I knew it would be. Well, my goodness. Now, isn't that something? Congratulations, Stan. Thank you. <laughs> How was the response? Well, the, the, the warning went out. John? Yeah, well, he, uh, he pieced it together. That's also as you predicted he would. Yeah. I'm just glad it's over. Yeah. I hate to do that to him. I know. Well, look at it as a small sacrifice. and. Uh, in the end, uh, maybe it'll uh, help his book sales. <laughs> um, my friend, now why don't you get some sleep? You deserve it. I should. Yeah. I should try, you're right. You did a good job. Tell me as soon as I can eliminate that man. No, oh, you'll get your chance. Right now, we need him. Now, this next part is going to be a little delicate. Um, so far, up to this point, Mr. Bannister and Mr. Schiff, they've been fairly easy to manipulate. But now they're going to need to be pushed. Why do we need them? We made the waves. OK, I want you to picture this. In Washington, at this moment, we got a lot of people running around looking for a solution. But in my experience, we're not going to get the appropriations that we need Unless they're desperate. So, so, another wave? Another wave, but uh, this time bigger, much bigger. Excuse me. And, uh, oh, the, uh, the warheads will arrive tonight. I'll see to them. Um, now, Aslan, um, I got a report from the FBI who were uh, tailing John, and they, uh, they tell me that he was in his house at Shandy Harbor when the wave hit. Now, either he's dead or he needs to be. This guy just behind. Yeah. John. Yeah. I saw you on the news. If there's anything I can do, let me know, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Mom. 
I have to go and yeah, see sure. if I can find Annabelle. My van's over here. John, can you believe it? I know, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's cars are ruined and my old thing indestructible. I'll, I'll meet you here in a little bit, okay? Gibbons, G I B B O N S. Gibbons, Annabelle. She's in bed 23B. Just over there. Good morning, all of you. It's nice to see you all. I'm sorry we have to get together under these very trying circumstances. Excuse me? Is she gonna be okay? She's stable. That's as far as we can take it with anyone right now. Annabelle. I know you can hear me. You know that character in the book? It's all you. You're inspiring. Annabelle. Hi. Hi. Just rest. It's okay. It's okay. I knew I was the heroine of your story. First, we have to recognize that we were completely defenseless today, so that we won't be tomorrow. Do you have a concrete proposal for building defenses? Yes, I do, sir. I believe that it's time that we build what science calls a seawall, which is a series of uh, channels and breakwaters uh, that uh, somewhat buffer the effects of not only tidal waves, whatever the cause may be, but also rising sea levels. So you have a headache? Comes and goes? Thanks. Any dizziness? Uh, I'm going to look around here. Oh, here and there. Have a good day. After the headaches? Can be. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I move on? Thank you. Mr. Bannister, sir. Trucking Division, Boston. I knew you'd come, sir. I told them they didn't believe me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You use your leadership, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Keep on trucking. Sorry about that, sir. I'm doing everything we can to make everyone as comfortable as possible. I see that. I think a few words from you would serve greatly to reassure yeah. everyone. John? Where's Sophie? Mr. Bannister? The local seawall. Yes.
gotta go. What? They know I'm here, we gotta go. Uh, we need a car, John. Can you sell us your minivan? No, we can't drive. No, no. Okay, guys, get in the back. I can get you out of here. Okay, yeah, let's go. I have a minor concussion. You need to rest and stay here for observation. Okay. Where'd you get this? One of the soldiers gave it to me. He's here somewhere. Thanks, Doc. Seen this man? No. Why are you leaving? I'm going somewhere else. I have family I can go to, and I thought I'd leave the donuts for the people who needed them. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Nice uniform. <clears throat> Did you hear me back there? I mean, I was so nervous. Stop. And, and then the guy, he was looking in the van. And, no. and Yeah? No, you have to stop. Oh, Why? That's good girl. You did good. Where are we going? No, no. We're going nowhere. Come on. End of the road. Give me a hug. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye, thank you very much. Okay. Uh-oh. It's hard to start. If I could drive you to your neck. No, you can do it. Here we go. Thank Thanks. you, Mel. I owe you. Okay. To recap. He was here, Frank. McAdams was here. National Guard's after him. Well, I guess vacation's over. Just the place. Where? Straight ahead. Victor Bannister was at the camp. He made a speech. He's going to build a seawall. Right this way? Yeah, you'll have to turn in a couple of lines. Stand. Yeah, please sit down. So, did you uh, get some rest? Some. It's just a little hard to sleep thinking yeah. about it. I can well imagine. Stanley, this is a good thing we're doing here. Now, it's very important. I want you 
Make sure you dismiss everything the media says. That's what I keep telling myself. Good. Just, I'm just, I'm just glad it's done. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> that's why I wanted to see you. Hmm? We need to create another way. No. Yes. No, no. Stanley, listen, it's inevitable. If you want to push through this seawall thing of yours, that's what you want, isn't it? Well, yes, but you well, said two waves. I know. You said one, one in New Jersey and I one know. in Maine. You said I that that know. would be enough. Stanley, this is just the beginning. The Cantrell Corporation has been applauded by the government and the business community for its remarkable relief efforts in New Jersey and now in Maine, especially in light of the ongoing Senate investigation into the company's business practices. Now, in other news, a flood of donations and volunteers pouring in from across the country, especially San Francisco, New Orleans, and Miami, cities that understand all too well the terrible effects of this type of disaster. If there is any silver lining to this story, Bob, it's that Americans are coming together to help out neighbors and even strangers proof of what makes this country so great. Next up, the Quinnimac Miracle Dog and a Sailor's Heartbreak. CRN live coverage. Paint, huh? Yeah. Do sculptures. I had to paint, to think, to get away. Working at the institute can get pretty stressful. Yeah, I remember that. <clears throat> mm. So, who's the headhunter? Ow. Me, what do you think? Well, man's touch. You want to talk about him? About the moose or the guy? Start with the moose if you want. Yeah. No, it's been over for both for quite a while. You want to drink something? Uh, red. Red, perfect. Toss me the keys. Thank you. has arrived. You remember the bar when we uh, no, would all go there and drink and talk about how we would solve all the problems of the world? Huh. Everything seemed so possible back then. Mm -hmm. We were going to change that world. Mm. If you want to change the world, then the world changes you. You haven't changed much. Oh, I changed. No. I died. Something in me. Seven years ago next month. Cheers. You should stop blaming yourself for that. Who should I blame? I created it. How many people were working on Silayan? 40, 50? We all created it. Yeah, we all made the same mistakes at the same time we... No, 
I made the mistake. I created that thing. I was ambitious. I, I didn't uh, I didn't check the data thoroughly enough. I wanted to do the test straight away. And now that thing, everything it's doing and everything it's going to do. You know what, John? When it happened, I did like everybody else. I blamed you, too. Because I lost Anne, and I thought I could never replace her. But then I went to the Institute. I studied Silayan. I talked to Stanley Schiff, to Jack. And I know it wasn't your fault. I know what happened. <laughs> You're not responsible for this? No. <laughs> you, know. you never created a weapon. You created something that would help people. John. Whoever is doing this, John, they are the one responsible for it. You're not. Uh. Just relax. It's over now. John. Yeah. I know, I know. I mean, I'm just a scientist. I, yeah, but... I understand you know, the nature of reality. It's just some atomic particles rearranging in themselves. Death is nothing. But you feel things, you know, so it isn't intellectual. took a beating. Yeah. Tried to ride away. <clears throat> What's this? We had three witnesses. The teenage kid, his friend, and the woman who saw the stabbing. Right, right. We can't find him. What's even more interesting is the address and phone number we got from our eyewitness don't belong to her. So McAdams isn't our guy? I don't have another suspect. It's possible traumatic event, maybe she forgot to give me the information. Happens. Maybe she got evacuated. Maybe she's dead. Didn't make it. It's possible. I know where she is. Write the address down. Thanks, Jack. You should be proud. Why? Why should I be proud? Well, I think something. <laughs>
Today, Camtrail Corporation CEO Victor Bannister proposed a defensive system that would protect the shores of the United States from other catastrophic waves. The defensive system is called seawall. However, there's no word from Washington at this time on whether the seawall proposal has been accepted. I've located the subject main 5 Hector X ray Wilco 248. Proceeding westbound on Route 17. Request special instructions. Over. Victor Bannister. Hi, Victor. It's me, Sophie. I've been trying to reach you, but um. I'll try again, okay? Thanks, bye. Suspect vehicle on Sixth Line Road headed north, over. Keep her under surveillance. Whatever you do, do not make yourselves known. Understood? I copy. Keeping under surveillance, over. I left up at 16. Make a thing. 160, not 16, 160. 160. 160. units for backup over. Real breakfast. Huh? I'll prepare something. Uh, would you mind getting my phone in the car? Please. We're still holding our position, sir. Do not move in. I repeat, do not move in. Yes, sir. Do you believe this guy?
Stuart, you wait here for the feds. We're going in. I see a car. Come on. Oh. It's the hidden man's head. Oh. Okay, where were the head? There, Key. Very, very powerful man. He's, he's powerful. He's powerful. What the are you talking about? And the FBI, Who's powerful and he's got enough? you wrapped around his little finger, hasn't he? Victor Bannister. That's who I'm talking about. The powerful man. No, no. Victor Bannister is not behind all this. You're complete. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's a good man. You don't know the oh, no, guy. I do. He's I... a powerful man. He knew exactly where we are. He sent those killers to get us there. Oh, he sent the guys. He didn't even know where we were. How? No, you're just paranoid. Why don't you call him? Why don't you call him and find out? Here, you've been calling him all morning. Because I thought he could help. That's why I called. Hello. Hey, Victor? Sophie. I tried to call you. Sophie? Yeah, are you there? No, Victor, I just don't know what's happening right now. I'm just... Why? What? Are you all right? No. no now you have to help us. I'm... You always have my help, Sophie. You know that. Yeah, I know. Sophie, just stay in your cab and I'm going to send a car up for you. Sophie? 
Are you there? He knew where we were. Get in the car. He knew, John. Get in the car. We gotta go. Question is, how does he know? I was right. We're not John's only enemies. Now who are they? Professional? Imported? That's a murder weapon? Yeah. He killed her with a sculpture? Yeah. Apparently one of hers. Um, we are going to have to move everything up. Move it up by how much? Well, we're going to have to go tonight. Tonight? That's four days ahead of schedule. I know, but uh, I just got a call, and uh, your shooters are both dead. John McAdams and Sophie Marlowe are not. I'll send someone else. Yeah, well, now we don't know where they are. We'll find them. Edgar, it's under control. If it were under control, they'd be dead. So it looks like our guy is a killer. Looks like we're not the only ones after him. The way I read it, I got a murder suspect at a cabin. My guys go in, a couple of them don't come out. That makes John McAdams public enemy number one around here. Stanley Schiff is the weak link. Why would he be involved in this? He wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, he's like a kid with a new toy. He won't see walls, somebody gave it to him. It's not even a good idea. It would cost so much to build. Well, who gets to build it? Who's got the money to build it? Who's uh, responsible for bringing all those people together at the conference? Who's got the media and the FBI I'm running? Victor. Bingo. So he manipulated Stanley into making the waves. That's what it is. Stanley is an idealist. From his point of view, it's the sacrifice of a few hundred lives, a few coastal towns, in order to save hundreds of millions down the line. Victor must know the seawall won't work. Is he that greedy? Follow the money. Follow the money. You know, that sculpture thing, that was a defensive weapon, right? She was trying to kill him. I know. He's being set up. Question in, by whom and where are they now? Follow the money. What? Huh? Follow the money. The trucks, right? Who owns the truck? Cantrell? Yeah. Preston Point, right? Who owns Cantrell? Victor Bannister owns. Frank, the Bureau has McAdams as a terrorist. The cops have him pegged as a cop killer. And we're going up against one of the most powerful men in the country. They're on their own. I always wanted to meet Victor Bannister. Let's see. You can take care of that, use your own judgment. Yeah, okay. Olivia McPhee, if she calls, I need to talk to her. Of course. Thank you, Richard. Have a good trip. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Olivia. Devil. So, where are we? Actually, the news is not bad for once. I am told the Justice Department is rethinking the case. Seems your good works are attracting attention, and they don't want to seem like the vengeful jerks they are. Excellent, excellent. Uh, what about the seawall? A lot of interest, no one's actually committing. Oh, for God's sakes, we're not asking for the whole package. Just seed money. Small minds find it hard to think big. You've got to give them time. How could it be more timely than now? It's Washington, Victor. Action occurs only when all other options are exhausted. <sighs> Stock is up two points. That's good news. Right. Thanks, Olivia. Tonight! But we can't do it tonight. There's not enough time. We have to. What? Well, just why? This, this two, three more days, and we could do it right. Fellas, 
Fellas, uh, what's the problem? It's too thin. Uh -huh. I have to shake the explosion. I have to model oh, yeah. the ocean yeah. floor. Yeah. The, the, the current between the impact zone and the target. Oh, my God, it's very complex. Stanley, you're going to do fine. I'm not going to be fine. I, just, I don't even know where the target is. Stanley. We're standing on it. Oh, I will not send a tsunami into Boston. I won't do it. Stanley, you can. I won't. Stanley, I want you to think for a minute. I want you to think. Do you want to build your seawall? Not that much. Well then, we're gonna have to get Aslan here to motivate you. Point Oceanographic Institute on the phone. Yes, hello. Hello, thanks for joining us. What's your take on this? Are we going to see another tsunami? Well, it's still not clear whether these waves were natural phenomena or acts of terror, but in either case, with two destructive waves so close together, I think we have to prepare for the worst. How can we prepare ourselves against these kinds of disasters? Well, uh, firstly, there's the idea of creating a system of breakwaters, channels for protecting the coast, what we would call a seawall. Oh, my God. Jack Wilcord is involved in this. Hello, Victor. Thank you, Richard. Spoke to Olivia. The Washington people are dragging their feet. Well, we're going to get them to pick their feet up. I hope so. We're in the middle of a fight here, Victor. When you're in a fight, everything your opponent does is aggressive. Just because they're not doing anything, that's aggressive. Ali didn't call it rope a smart guy. He called it rope a dope, Victor. We don't want to be dopes. We're sending another wave tonight. Where are you sending again? Oh, don't worry about the details, Victor. I want you to sit yourself down, take a few hours. You're going to deliver a speech of your life tomorrow. America needs it. And, uh, well, give my best to, uh, Margaret. Jack Wilcord is involved in this. There's gonna be another wave. Why'd you say that? He's still selling us. Listen to him. That means that the waves in Maine and in and, and New Jersey weren't big enough. But they were huge. No, they're huge, but they're not huge enough to sell mass hysteria. There's going to be another wave. John, there's a police car behind us.
Stanley? He's not here. Looks like he's leaving. Yeah, I know. Huh? Cam trail. The seagull? Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm a friend of Stanley Schiff's. Just wondering, is uh, you seen him around? Uh, he isn't here. Ah, uh, yeah, he's checking out, isn't he? He took a position at Preston Point. Up in Maine? There's an emergency project there because of the waves. We're all going to work there. Uh, but he's coming back this afternoon. Uh, no. You shouldn't be here either. This is a private office. You know, Stanley and I, we go back years. Anyway, um, we'll get out of your hair. So, thanks. Good luck with the project. I just realized something. What? Last year, they built a facility underneath the Institute for launching probes into the ocean. It's underground, about 100 feet. And it's very secure. And who built it? Kentrell. It was a gift to the Institute. I've got to go to the Institute alone. Why? I have to stop. No, John, no, you can't no, go there by yourself. No, I'm, I'm coming, no. No, I have to go alone. What do you mean? They'll use you against me, okay? They'll kill you. Yes, I know. They're gonna kill me anyway. I can't keep running, I can't keep hiding. There should be another way. No, they're, they're, they're gonna send another wave, Sophie. We both know that. I have to do something. What are you gonna do? I have a plan. I'll do something. Stay here. One ninety six Norman Avenue, please. Um, how's it coming along, Stanley? It's tough. Great. Okay. Now, I want you to make a little adjustment for me. Hmm? We're gonna go with two torpedoes, not just the one. Two. But, Edgar, the size of the wave that that will create... Exactly. No, it'll obliterate Boston. <laughs> you got it. Oh, look, we're just trying to make a point. Point. Well, if you want to make a point, Stanley, you don't go one, you go one, two. First you knock them down, then you kick... Ow! Oh! No. I can't do this. I'm not a mass murderer. That's... It's business. That's exactly what it is, Stanley. Boston is gonna come back, but this time it'll be planned, it'll be bigger, it'll be better. You're gonna love it. Five million people, Edgar. If you wanna live to see your seawall thing, then you uh, program that second torpedo. Okay. Faith, Stanley. That's what makes men great. All right, then.
What about Bannister? He's in Boston. Plug, plug, plug. You're ready. If he's behind this, Frank, how many dead bodies so far? He's not gonna care about a couple of feds. Come on, Marlon, you said it yourself on the way to the coast. It's our job. Yeah. We need proof. Proof's in there. How do we get in? Oh. I need to talk to Mr. Bannister. Mr. Bannister, can No, he knows sure. me. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm not possible. You can't go up there. Victor! Sophie? She just barged in. Oh, it's all right. How could you do that? Do you know what happened? Huh, Victor? <laughs> Victor? She's not coming out. What do you think she's doing in there? Does it matter? She's a fugitive. We could break the door down if we want. What if she's one of them? Victor? Hi, Margaret. She won't remember you. I wasn't the wife, did you know that? It's a miracle I'm alive. Glad you are. I am, but thousands of people are not, Victor. And the ones who are left have lost everything. They've lost everything, Victor. Victor, I know you can do something, okay? Mm. You have to stop it. I know you can, Victor. No. I can't. No, Victor, if there's another I can't wave coming. Stop it, Sophie. It's out of control. What you I've lost all control, Sophie. Sophie. I thought you were a great man. What have you done, Victor? We were on our own. Where are you going? Frank, Frank, wait! Wait up! Frank, wait! Sophie? Sophie? I'm proud of you. Sophie Marlowe, FBI, Agent Clark, this is Agent Bristick. Where's John McAdams? He's not here. No, we need to no, fight him not... now. You don't know why I'm here. I'm going. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great tragedy that the wave that hit Boston last night claimed the life of Victor Bannister. Okay, that's depressing. Yeah, make them family. Family. Friends. A tragedy. A tragedy is just a word. Don't get upset. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great well, tragedy that the wave that hit Boston last night claimed the life of Victor Bannister. And it is with sadness and humility that I take charge of Camtrail Corporation. That's good. We are in a time of crisis. And in times like this, we can't stop to think of what we've lost. I think it's a bad thing. Now the glasses are no bad. It's too intellectual. 
We must instead think of tomorrow, of what we'll build, because the only remedy for sadness is hope. Yeah. Now, Boston may be in ruins today, and the horror, I could say horror, and the horror of this event will linger in our minds forever. I'm just like you. But the Boston that will rise from these ashes, the Boston that will rise from these ashes, that's what manly, will show the world our resolve. Yeah, tough guy. Today, we will lay the first brick. That's a tangible brick of a new city. Now this is Cam Trell's commitment that we will begin to build without waiting for uh, money from Washington or bureaucratic red tape. Instead, we will move forward and this will be Victor Bannister's legacy. So I'm coming around there, back to Victor. Okay. In the face of these tsunamis, which have taken so much, we will build a seawall. A seawall that will keep our city safe. And it will be a model for the future. The risk is great. But we will not fail. We will not because we cannot. Oh, that's a little scary. Maybe a little more definitive. We will not because we cannot. Yeah. Give us a smile. Hush. What are you doing here? I know what's going on. What do you mean? Don't I? I figured it all out. Don't move, John. Put your hands up, John. Okay. Put them up. Yes. McAdams is in my office. Yes. Let's go. Okay. I can't do this. What's the problem, Stan? This is too much. This is wrong. I can't Stanley, do this. Get a... John? Hello, Stanley. I didn't mean to do this. It's just that everything became a... just went out of control. It just... They tricked me. I know what you're thinking, but it's not true. Okay, shut up, Stan. Dr. McAdam. I'm Edgar Powell. You can shake my hand. It's okay. Heroes don't die. Big fan. It's okay. Good to have you here. Okay, Stanley. Prepare the first launch. The calculations for the second one are incomplete. I said prepare to launch the first. I'm trying to save the world here, and he's the one that's been trying to kill you for the last three days. All of this is his doing. Enjoy the show. How long to the Institute? 15, maybe 20 minutes? Yeah, we're not far. Can't this thing go any faster? <laughs> Sit, Did you ever imagine when you're busy creating sea lion that it would one day become this. Of course he didn't. He's so ambitious. Climbing over your minions to get to the top. But it took me, it took me and my mind to, to create the genius of Seawall, not you. Stanley, if you don't settle down, we've got a real key tapper here and he's gonna replace you. I'm fine. I, 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 he will not replace me. 
I think I can convince them. No, you won't. I can do this. Um, actually, yes, that's exactly why I am here. I'd like to offer you my services. I'm not running anymore. I'm here to cut a deal with you. Can we make that work? What? Aslan? Are your men in place? Okay, I want you to join them. I really don't believe Dr. McAdams would show up here alone. Yeah, give me that thing. Um, you somebody left the harbor and you were not on it. Stan, you got off the boat. I did not get off the boat. You have no idea what I'm doing here. You have no idea. I know exactly what you're doing, Stanley. You're overwhelmed, Stanley. I'm not overwhelmed. You need to do a vector analysis of the current state. I'm not taking my time to do my vector analysis. I'm really glad you're here. Make him leave. No, we're going to replace you, Stanley, if you don't get to it. I am on it. I am on okay. it. Okay, you ready? Yes. Initiate. Yes, I am. Just, just don't rush me. Why are there two warheads? Well, only two waves. Huh. And the first wave will hit. See the blinking dot there? Yes. That's yes. Boston. Boston. And the second? Boston again. <laughs> well, congratulations, Stanley. Do it. You don't tell me what to do anymore. Why not? You're the big man, aren't you? Uh, you're going to become the greatest influence in the 21st century. Go ahead. You will not tell me what to do anymore! Do it, Stanley. Program the second one. He's a liar. You think he's morally superior to me, but that's not true. Shut you're up, not. You, 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 you're just an arrogant son of a bitch. Hey. You think you, you, everybody hates your guts, especially so. Stanley, this is my technology. I created this, didn't I? It is not yours. I created this. This, this is all mine. I created all this. Let Everything you see here is mine. Don't you remember six years ago? Weren't you my assistant? Weren't you the numbers cruncher? Good at taking orders, I thought. Still are. I am not. Good. I no more orders. There are no more. I'm not taking any more orders. The orders are done. I'm not taking any more. Stanley, prepare the second launch. Go on, Stanley. Prepare the second launch, Stanley. No. No, yeah. I'm not going to do it. I haven't got time for any more no, of this, Stanley. No, 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 I'm not going to. One we're, wave is enough. We're on I'm a not going to rate Boston. It will not happen. I'm going to abort the second missile. That's it. I'm going to do it. Ah! All right. Can you do it? Yes, I can. Let's go. No, 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 you won't. You can't do it. Yes, I can, Stanley. The cathedral is me, remember? Oh, it's inside. 
What's lies underneath? Move away from that. A grain of sand? I don't think so. Move away, Stanley. Stanley, move. Park your ass over there. Thank you. Why the hell are you doing this to me, Sophie? Get in. No! Jack! Let's get cracking. We're running out of time. Stanley, I need those numbers now. I'm sending it to you on screen 4.2. Right. Ready to launch. You want to check his calculations? Yes. They're correct. Yes, they're... God, they're... Perfect. Okay. Yes? Fire. Ah, there goes the first one. Look at that. Wow. That's the equivalent of a 9.7 earthquake. It's uh, kind of like playing God. God in a china shop. God with a new toy. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. We did it. We did it. That looks like it's turning. Why does it look like that? You tell me, you're always one step ahead. What do you mean? See, Stanley and I came up with a failsafe seven years ago called the Golden Thread. Do you want to tell them about it, Stanley? Well, equal and opposite reaction. The first explosion occurs at the base of this formation. The second turns and explodes on this formation, creating two waves of equal size, canceling each other out. Boston will be saved, five million people will be saved, and, and you will lose. Stop it. He can't. <laughs> no, 
You've got to be able to stop it. Can't be stopped. Then we're all going to die here. Edgar, I came here prepared for that inevitable. Didn't you? How does it feel? I'm not afraid to die, John. Because when I die, I'll die defending my country. Heads of state will come to my funeral. But you, a terrorist like you, you'll be lucky if pigeons drop by. The crap on your coffin! Sophie! John! Mr. Lemie McAdams, I swear to God, I will kill her. I'll blow her head off! And John, don't. Just do what you have to do, John, please! It's not just you, John. She'll die, too. Don't you love her? Tell me how to stop it. <clears throat> My God, so. Destroy the console. Where? There. Over there. And there. Okay. That's it. <laughs> no. Jack, do it! John, why do your girlfriends always end up dead? You're not gonna do that, Jack. You won't. You've always been a coward. Chomsky 9 or 2 0, a reversing tide through sector 28. Weird stuff. A reversing tide that's got us pretty spooked, let me tell you. Copy that, Chomsky 9 or 2 0. We've got a tracer up. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, finally here. 
It's no, always no. been here, Stanley. It's death. It's a look in the eye. You did good. You did good. good. You're ready for this. I... The golden thread. The golden thread, Stanley. <laughs> What's this golden thread? <laughs> Not for you. You don't get that. What do I get? In the Atlantic Ocean this evening, two tsunamis traveling in opposite directions collided after what scientists are calling the culmination of a progression of seismic events that have caused killer waves on the eastern seaboard. Authorities are now saying that there is no basis for speculation that the waves could have been caused by terrorists. In other news, officials are investigating an explosion at the Preston Point Oceanographic Institute. The cause of the explosion is still unknown, but preliminary reports point to an electrical malfunction. The explosion claimed the lives of Dr. Stanley Schiff, Director of Development at Preston Point, and Edgar Powell, Vice President of the Cantrell Corporation. The other fatality was acclaimed scientist and novelist John McAdams, who had recently been in the public eye as a suspected terrorist involved in the tsunamis. His latest novel about a tsunami created as a weapon of mass destruction seemed to eerily foreshadow recent events. But now that the waves have been deemed natural disasters and not man-made, McAdams has been fully exonerated and his writings remain, we hope, pure fiction.